Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and I'd like to show you a really nice technique that you can use to create things like cloth, things like speaker grills, gratings, etc. So geometry of this nature is always a little difficult because of all the patterning and so I'd like to show you how I went about creating this little piece of cloth. So I'm going to do a control shift home and that takes me all the way back to the beginning entity and with a control shift forward arrow you can see that one of the first arrows, one of the first entities that I created was a sketch that has the fiber spacing and the fiber diameter. It's all linked out like that and uh, it's patterned. So that's where we start. We got to figure out what kind of spacing we're going to want and, and what's the fiber diameter. Then the next sketch is the path of the fiber that would go in between uh, the fibers. So uh, that's a sketch in itself and I'll just show you the different parameters that I had associated with that. There we go. So as you can see there's a, a fiber diameter divided by two from there to there because the next fiber is going to touch this one and that's how you establish this location and these radii and so on and so forth so again you pattern this uh, these curves there's the pattern right there and so that is a nice way of going forward piece of cake there and control shift arrow and then you create another sketch that's similar, only it is off by one, uh, one period, if you will. So there's uh, two sketches that are necessary because at some point you've got to do a tube that looks like that and a tube that looks like that. So I use the tube operation. Um, I color coded them just to make it look good. Let's do a fit on there so you can see the whole thing. There we go. So that's what you're starting with control shift arrow and then patterning those two gives you uh, one square patch if you will control shift arrow then I I mirrored the first one and then moved it into place so that it would nestle right in between the square patch and then of course I mirrored it again and moved it and then patterned that and that was, that establishes basically the entire piece of cloth. Then that cloth has to be on a curved, in a curved shape to go into the speaker or whatever it's going into. So of course I use the global shaping technique with, I selected this curve and that line or created that curve in that line. I created surfaces out of both of them and then I used global shaping by surface to uh, make the final geometry. So there you have it. Thank you very much. It's always a privilege to do these. It's uh, really nice to contribute to the creative community that is the NX user community. I feel very privileged to do so and thank you very much. Again, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and you can find a lot more content on our YouTube channel, etc., etc. Please uh, give us comments, uh, contact us. We're available for training. We're available to uh, do design work. It's a passion of mine, and um, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.